Hey guys, so I'm actually doing this video separate because I know I'm going to forget to do this when I do my other autograph update video. But yeah, let's just get straight into it. Most of you remember I posted on my Tumblr or my fan page that I got this rejection letter from Scholastic saying thank you for writing to Suzanne Collins, which is the author of the Hunger Games, blah, blah, blah. Basically, they kept the letter I sent and sent back my book. Well, that didn't stop me, so I actually did a little bit of research. I ended up finding another address that I thought was Suzanne Collins's, and it ended up actually being her home address. So I actually tried it and sent my book out on May... 30th around there so I got this back the 23rd I got this letter on the 23rd of May and then I sent this out May 30th um, and this actually just came in the mail today which I was kind of expecting just for the book to come out back and nothing but it actually came back signed for event, may the odds be ever in your favor. Love, Suzanne Collins. And then she drew a little branch, which is really cool. At first, I thought that this was a stamp, but feeling it, it's not a stamp. And you can see closely. Oh, hold on. There you go. So you can see, like, right there, the ink going through the pages from where she drew the circles really dark. Like those kind of circles right there. So yeah, I have a signed book from Suzanne Collins. I really didn't think that address was going to work. Um, I'll probably send the other two later on, within a couple of months, back to Scholastic and see if I get a six plus through six Scholastic because I feel bad sending the other two back to her house when it's really her home address and she shouldn't be having to sign and get mail from fans at her home address so yeah i'm glad i have this this is like totally out of it but just this update um i should be doing a full autograph binder update towards the end of june early july because i have Florida Supercon coming up. But yeah, until next time. Bye, guys.